So I just want to catch you up on just life, give you a life update. Um, yesterday was John's birthday. There was a boot on our car and it's ridiculous. Ugh. It's just hard living in the city. I do mostly day in a life videos just because it's easier for me and I just like doing day in a life videos. I have two little boys. They are three and one years old. I'm a stay at home mom and I enjoy just doing different yet the same things with them every single day. So I just want to catch you up on just life, give you a life update. Um, yesterday was John's birthday and if you have been watching you know John is my boyfriend and the father of my kids. Um, yesterday was his birthday and he went to leave for work and he had a meeting to go to and as soon as he got out there there was a boot on our car and it's ridiculous and if you know us already we live in Chicago and ugh, it's just hard living in the city and we usually park in the garage but when my uncle comes my uncle parks in the garage so we had to park on the street and yes we had some um, outstanding tickets like we kind of saw it coming but it still sucks you know to walk outside and see that your car has a boot on it but anyway we had to go through all that, um, pay off all the tickets and whatever, and we're thankful and grateful that my uncle was there to help us out, um, so we owe him so much, but, uh, yeah, so that happened. The, the worst time for him because he was napping. In the car he fell asleep in the car on the way there and it's only like literally like three minutes down the road and he fell asleep which is kind of my fault because I didn't put him down for his nine o'clock nap just because it was a hectic morning but um yeah so Hunter was shy as always he's just a shy boy but I was shy when I was a kid so he probably gets it from me but uh Paxton was just a little kind of like thrown off by like why am I here I didn't fall asleep here kind of thing it was fun we sang some songs read some books and stuff so it was a nice little experience um, we might go back and do story time more often it's on Fridays at 10 a.m. or 10:30. I, um, it slightly gets in the way of our schedule um, with Paxton's morning nap. Uh, he usually sleeps from about 9-ish to about 10.30, so it kind of gets in the way of it, but I don't know. Maybe we'll make an exception for Fridays. Yeah, so we went and enjoyed that. Other than that, nothing else really. Just the usual day in the life kind of stuff. But today after the library, um, I stopped at the Dollar Tree and I picked up a, a couple bins, um, like just little storage bins, and I want to get organized a little bit because we are so unorganized, it's, it's ridiculous. But I want to tackle that, put the stuff that's just laying there on the shelf in some bins and just clean up a little bit. So that's pretty much the main focus of this video. Um, I'm just gonna clean up this room and just put it together a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. 
So these are the bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're nothing special. They're just plastic. Um, I decided to go with different colors just because maybe just put some color in our life rather than just these um, plain see-through ones. But I do like these because you can see exactly what's in the bin. Um, these are see-through as well. It's just they're colored. So I got these kind of different sizes just to play around with them, see what fits in them, and then go from there. So I'm going to start cleaning up this disaster of a room. And like he has pull-ups everywhere and it's ridiculous. They're all clean. They're they're those are clean pull-ups. He just Hunter and Paxton just like to pull them out of the packages whenever we get them and throw them everywhere but this bin right here is all for donation and I also have a box downstairs by my mom full like overflowing full of donation things um like this stuff over there we have boxes and bins throughout the house um and it's because we have to move downstairs. So yeah, we have to move downstairs. We live in a two flat um, house. So there's like an upstairs apartment, then the main level apartment, and then the basement. So um, my uncle just wants us to move downstairs so he can start renting out the top apartment that we are living in. So it's... Sorry, Hunter came up and kind of scared me. But um, as I was saying, he just wants us to move downstairs so he can rent out the top where we are. And it's just going to be tight for a little bit down there um, because my mom lives down there. And like all of my grandmother's things are still like, it still looks like her house. We haven't cleaned up anything after she passed. Um, so, it's just going to be really tight down there. Yeah. It's going to be tight down there, um, with us four, and then my mom, and then my uncle comes for half of the week, so, um, yeah. It's just going to be a little tight for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get started on this room and clean up.
much done with this room. Now I just have to tackle the rest of the house. Um, but I also still need to pack this stuff in boxes or like tote bins and stuff. So this is what it looks like after I tidied up a little bit. And there's Hunter. I didn't touch this. That's still the same, but um, yeah. So I just made the bed. I filled these bins that I got. That one just has wooden tools. This one has plastic Mickey Mouse tools. And then this green one, I put all his dinosaurs in. Um, and that blue one, he's playing with his kinetic sand or rocks or whatever it's called. A rocks. It's rocks? Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to get a bin for that because those rocks make so much mess. So he's just going to play with that always in the bin, right? Yeah, but not on the mat. Yeah, not on the mat. Oh, not in the way you want to have that. Then I did dirty in the way you and me done the black rocks. Yeah, and they're going to get stuck on the carpet. Yeah. Okay. And we got to pick them up with my cleaner. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we got to pull them. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to play with that in the bin. With the inside, that way your uh, uh, sandals and then, uh, uh, this way uh, you can grab a sand and uh, keep it in his hand. Mm -hmm. It's a good sensory, um, like a good sensory bin idea as well. If you get this for your kids. Um, we also have a bin in the living room that is full of beans. Um, I think I showed that in another video in buckets or whatever. And we hide little animal figurines in them as well yeah. so he could find them. So those mm -hmm. are two fun sensory bin ideas as well for toddlers. You know what? Um, he had one bin, two bins, three bins, four bins, twice bins. And one bin, two bins, three bins, and eight bins. Oh, yeah. This is three, four, three, and um, these are two. That yeah. means uh, eight. Okay. Say bye. Bye. So, if you like this video, Please like and comment. Also, subscribe if... Bye-bye. Ah. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we post. Um, I hope this gave you somewhat of motivation to tidy up and get organized. Um, you lost my man's hat. Okay, go find it, please. Oh, wait. Um, I know Ow. I like to use storage bins to um, organize my things. It just keeps items all together in one area. So that's why I use storage bins. I also like to use like Ziploc bags, um, the sandwich bags and gallon bags type things as well. But this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.